Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now today, we're going to be doing a very brief follow-up video to both my Windows XP Gold and Windows 7 Gold um, overview and installation videos that I have done you know, very recently on the channel, especially for the Windows 7 Gold video. That was actually last week's video and the Windows XP Gold video was actually back in April of this year, so that's not so recent. Um, but you know both of these videos kind of um, you know take a look at these interesting operating systems, kind of like a fan-made Windows uh, modification type of thing, where basically somebody or a uh, you know group of people has kind of modified both Windows XP and Windows 7 into this uh, you know gold uh, color scheme, and they've kind of bundled like a bunch of um, extra programs and features with it, but. And, you know, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is, you know, taking a look at one of the questions that I've been seeing in the comments section on both of these videos, and that is, do these operating systems contain viruses, malware, spyware, etc.? I've seen a lot of you guys asking this question. I've seen a lot of you guys saying that there is malware and that there are viruses. Um, in these operating systems and I've actually seen some of you guys saying that you have run scans with antivirus programs and they will say that you know hey there's malware or you know there's you know some sort of um, like you know unwanted program or potentially unwanted program and kind of like I guess like advising other people not to download it so I'm gonna you know just kind of be showing or you know seeing because I've not actually done this you know for myself because I'm actually you know very curious as well to see if these operating systems do actually contain uh, some sort of malware. Now I'm not sure like if it does end up that they do contain malware. I'm not sure if that's gonna be like the people just planting malware in purposely, or if that's just gonna be like uh you know some of these programs that that they've bundled maybe some of these programs um have like a like a lot of adware bundled with them i'm gonna you know kind of guess that that's probably why but if we kind of get something like a um, you know major threat um you know there might be you know like a reason why like maybe it was in fact planted in there by like the authors of this operating system but i'm not going to make like any um assumptions or accusations like that because there's not really any proof um but we're just going to be doing um a few little scans here with two very popular uh, antivirus and anti-malware programs, both Malwarebytes anti-malware and Avast free antivirus. Now, both of these are the free um, tier versions of these programs. These, these are both, in my opinion, at least very good and trustworthy antivirus programs. I use both of these on my host computer, and I would, uh, you know, recommend these, you know, to anybody who is looking for some basic, uh, you know, free protection. Um, and you know we're just going to be seeing how you know if there is any malware uh, in here. We're going to be starting off with uh, Malwarebytes anti-malware, and we're going to be seeing uh, if we do have anything. So we're going to uh, start with the basic um, threat scan or the quick scan. And I should also say that both of these programs were recently you know installed, so they're. Um, you know like the newest version uh, of the program and we're not going to be doing like a um, you know full scan like an actual you know custom scan and the hyper scan which is mainly for like uh, memory and startup objects as it says here that's a premium only feature so we're going to be doing with the basic threat scan which used to be called the quick scan and we're going to be seeing if it has if it finds anything so the uh, scan is just finished up here with uh, Malwarebytes and you can see here that it says non-malware detected and it has found a um, optional disable show help which as you can see is something uh, in the uh, registry here and it's a potentially unwanted modification. Um, and so this m disable show help that might be something where like if you you know right click maybe that might be this thing right here where this would normally help or something i'm not sure but i mean so let's just uh, click on uh, remove selected here 
and it'll be, um, you know, quarantined and everything. But yeah, that's, you know, it says non-malware, you know, that's nothing of any harm uh, to, you know, the actual computer or anything. But now we're going to take a look at a vast antivirus and see if it can actually find anything. Um, and we're just going to run a basic, you know, I guess a smart scan which is you know going to go through everything and yeah so you know that's that's a good sign that uh, i mean uh, malwarebytes has not found anything um and again this is windows xp gold and i should also say that these both of these are fresh installations um well the i mean uh windows 7 one that's the same one uh from last week's video but i've, I've not done like any modifications to that but this one for windows xp i actually had to remake the uh like entire virtual machine um so yeah we're just going to uh, let this finish up here we're going to let it you know do its scan and then once this is finished we'll move on to windows 7 gold and uh see what it can find and check this out so a vast antivirus is saying that we have some viruses some outdated software and some performance issues now these two things are most likely just, I mean, like, outdated software isn't, I mean, that's probably just, I mean, one of these programs that is out of date. I don't know if, if it's going to give us, like, a actual look at the viruses that we found. So, we found one threat. Can we resolve all? And it took this away. What was here? Okay, so I clicked on uh, resolve all, and I actually had to go back, um... And like I had to, you know, stop the video because it, it did take away one, uh, one of these icons, and that actually was Chicken Invaders 2, which I assume is, is some kind of game. So it it took it took that away when I, um, you know, clicked on Resolve All. So maybe it's finding that as like a threat. And okay, so now it's going to show these are all the programs that are out of date. So these, you know, can be easily fixed. So yeah, it now says we don't have any viruses. So for some reason it was finding Chicken Invaders 2 as a virus. Um, kind of odd, but uh, so maybe that was like some some odd, you know, program or, or, or game or something. But yeah, that was the basic, you know, a vast smart scan, which does like a very, you know, fast, uh, quick scan of the entire computer. Um, and you know this this probably isn't like the best way of seeing if there's any viruses on here you know you, you could go through like a whole you know like in-depth study but this is just a, like a very brief um like simple test with two very popular antivirus programs to see if there is or to see if these two programs find anything um now just by these you know two programs here would you like does this make you any um like more comfortable with using this operating system or um you know testing it out well you know let me know down in, uh, in the comments below and i'm probably going to ask the same thing to you guys for windows 7 gold here um you know we're going to power this up here or uh, rather uh, restore the vm state um and we're gonna do the same thing here i have um both malwarebytes and um uh, avast or avast installed here so we're going to do a basic scan first starting with malwarebytes anti-malware and we're going to see i wonder if that chicken invaders 2 game is on here again but we're just going to do like a you know basic scan with uh or a you know hyper scan whatever it was called with malwarebytes um or sorry a threat scan the uh hyper scan is premium only so we're going to be doing that, and then with uh, Avast, we're going to be doing the um, you know smart scan once again. So uh, I'm going to let this run here, and I'm going to come back uh, once it is finished, and I'll give you guys the results. All right, so the uh, Malwarebyte scan is just finished up here. As you can see, there's not really anything that it has found. It's found you know zero threats, so that is pretty awesome. Um, so so far, it looks like Windows 7 Gold is you know pretty safe. You know, there's no malware on it at all. Um, at least according to this scan, um, you know, same with the last scan, um, it only found that one, um, you know, potentially unwanted modification with Malwarebytes, but with Avast, it actually found a, you know, quote-unquote virus. I guess you could say it's a virus, I'm not sure if, if it actually was, but it, it, it found that game or whatever 
to be a virus. So we're going to actually run um, a vast on um, you know Windows 7 Gold here and see what it can find. And these scans, you know, go by relatively quick because these hard drives, um, I've made them to be very small sizes. They're only about 20 to 30 gigs each. You can actually see here already, we it's uh, saying that we found some viruses and outdated software again. Um, it is nice that it has that like outdated software thing, but I mean, that's not really that big of an issue because that's very easy to fix. And same with, um, you know, performance issues. So we're, we're going to click on resolve all and look at the desktop to see if anything goes away. And for the outdated software, it's showing um, VLC, IE, Flash, GOM Media Player, 7-Zip, and WinRAR. So this stuff, it's just, you know, very nice that it gives you the option to update it here. And then, you know, performance issues again. So, yeah, it only found that one virus and then you just, you know, click on, um, you know, resolve all and then it clears it out from your system and there's not even like a you know restart uh, needed. So it's obviously not anything severe. So I don't know what you guys were saying. Maybe there was maybe there was something else that I missed. Maybe, maybe you guys were using some other program, um, you know, besides Malwarebytes or um, Avast, but I just figured that I would use these because th these are the two programs that I use, um, you know, on my main computer and they've worked for me very well. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, let me know down in the comments. I mean, I don't, I don't really know if anybody actually uses this as their main operating system, but I mean, if you do, I mean, you know, um, you know, let me know if this video has kind of made you feel a little bit more comfortable with actually using this. Um, and if you guys, uh, you know, enjoy this video, I, I, I know this was like a, you know, pretty random and, and probably boring video, but I just kind of wanted to make this just the kind of, um, you know, cover this topic because I've been seeing people posting about this and I just figured that I would do something on it. So uh, if you guys, um, you know, uh, enjoy this video, if, if, if you want to see more videos, um, you know, like this and on, uh, you know, Windows uh, related stuff and, uh, you know, just uh, tech related stuff, which is usually, you know, what we do on this channel, uh, definitely be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.